Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for some new Second Sight announcements. We have some releases from March, two titles, two titles that I'm rather excited about, two films that I've covered before um, and reviews are on the channel for both of them and I cannot wait to cover them again. So let's dive in and have a look at what they are offering. So we can see here we have Green Room and Possessor. Both out on March 18th, we have the limited edition package of both for $39.99, the 4K for $24.99, and the um, standard edition for $17.99, the Blu-ray. So if you haven't seen either of these films, fantastic. My personal favourite is Green Room. I love that one. I'm so excited to see it. So we'll get to that in a minute. First up, we have The Possessor. Yeah, and we'll look at the limited edition one to see what comes with that. Directed by Brandon Cronenberg. It stars Andrea Riseborough, uh, Christopher Abbott, Sean Bean. An elite corporate assassin takes control of other people's bodies using brain implant technology to execute high-profile targets. With each hit comes a stronger lust for blood, throwing the whole operation into jeopardy. That is a rather limited synopsis of the film there's a lot more going on in here some great performances some really bloody sequences as well it's a really interesting and fun film i i'm looking forward to revisiting this one so you get a dual format edition including both uhd and blu-ray discs uh, with the main feature and extras on both discs this will be the worst one i probably go for i like getting the limited edition because i get both the blu-ray and the uhd um, it just makes sense for me. We've got a UHD presentation in Dolby Vision HDR approved by the director and the director of photography. We have a new commentary by Brandon Cronenberg, producer Rob Cotterill, Karim Hussein and special effects artist Dan Martin. This unfamiliar life, a new interview with Cronenberg. Inside the Machine, a new interview with Karim Hussein. Feel the Real, a new interview with Rob Cotterill. We have Disassociating from Body and Mind, or from Mind and Body, from Zoe Rose Smith. Camera Test Footage, FX Show and Tell with Dan Martin. Archive Featurette, A Height in the World, A Look at Possessor. Uh, Archive Featurette, in Identity Crisis, Bringing Professor to Life. Uh, Archive Featurette, The Joy of Practical, The Effects of Possessor. Deleted Scenes, Short Film, Please Speak Continuously and Describe Your Experiences as They Come to You and a trailer. And the limited edition contents are the Rigid Slipcase, 120 page book, um, featuring an extensive behind the scenes gallery, script to screen comparisons, new essays, six collectors art cards. Now, Possessor is a really hard film to talk about. It's really interesting. It's got some great sequences. It's a wonderful idea and it's executed really well. Um, I do have a review on the channel mild spoilers in that if you are interested i cannot wait to rewatch this yet again and then we have green room a movie that i've seen a number of times and i just love it a struggling punk rock band is forced to fight for survival after witnessing a brutal murder at a neo-nazi bar trapped in the green room the group must use everything at their disposal if they wish to make it through the night Again, you get both the UHD and the Blu-ray. We get the UHD presented in Dolby Vision HDR. We have a new audio commentary by Rain Cervantes and Prince Jackson. Audio commentary by the writer-director Jamie Saulnier. Going Hardcore, new interview with Saulnier. Punk Rock, new interview with actor Callum Turner. Rocking Out, new interview with composers Brooke and Will Bear. Going Green, new interview with production designer Ryan Warren-Smith. Nazi punks, uh, Thomas Caldwell on the green room, archive feature it into the pit, the making of green room. And we get a rigid slipcase and a 120-page book with new essays by Eugenio Ercolani and Gian Giacomo Petroni, Alexandra Helen Nicris, John Hurtado, Julian Richardson, uh, Sheila Rowan Legg and Thomas Watson, as well as six actors, uh, six collectors art cards. Um, this. I can't wait to see this on 4K. I absolutely adore this film. It is wild. It's violent. It's exciting. It's thrilling. It's 
uh, all different kinds. It's got Patrick Stewart as the head of the Nazis in this one. Um, Anton Yelchin plays the leader of the rock band, stuck in the green room. I, I just find this is such a, a visceral, exciting and thrilling watch. It's, it's, it's always, always impactful whenever I sit down and, and delve into this one. And I, I'm so glad that it's getting the second sight film uh, work because they put such effort into these discs. And this is the kind of movie that I want to have in one of those fancy packaging. So... Again, we'll just look at the, the pre-orders and the latest releases where you've got your various options of this one. But two very good movies, two movies that I've seen before and I really enjoy and I'm looking forward to covering them yet again. So I would love to know if you've seen Green Room or if you've seen Possessor and your thoughts on it. It's always good to get more opinions, so drop them in the comment box below. If you're intending to pick up any of these editions, which ones will you be getting? Why? Because I'm, I'm just nosy about things like that. And uh, as always, there is more content up here where you can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to Patreon, Membership Programme and manvfilm.com, always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.